Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Let's go inside the Fire Temple, you guys. I freaking love this game. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Do you guys not understand that this game is 22 years old? Like, I, I gotta be, I gotta stress that. This game is 22 years old. 23 almost now. Look at this game. <laughs> you know? I envy your happy-go-lucky attitude. Oh, well, thanks, man. <laughs> People tell me that all the time. <laughs> yeah, once we win the tournament, this will be my victory pose. Oh, will it now? I'll see to it that you never get to make that pose then. <laughs> They're, uh, team members of the, uh, Killica Beasts, those guys. I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. <laughs> Please, let Waka's prayers be heard. Kimari? Kimari? <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. Lord O'Hara, guide our feet. I love Waka, man. He's so cool. Let's pray at the statue of Lord O'Holland, you guys. Oh, getting down on his knees this time to pray. Oh, he had flash and panache that time. Huh. A summoner, are you? Uh, if you're wondering, Yuna is not the My only name summoner. Is Yuna. From the Isle of Besaid. There are many summoners. Donna. So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. Hmm. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? <laughs> I only have... Oh, oh, oh. Kamari's like, sup, motherfucker? You know, I Kamari would kick that guy's ass. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Yeah. Let her. more so than being my father's daughter. Ha. Huh. Let her of hear course, it. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. Yeah, we've seen enough shit today already. You do what you want, but tell her we're leaving. Yeah, Kamari would kick your ass, homie. See Kamari get into his face like what? A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. Hmm. I wondered, did you feel that way about me? You know, it's like we just met her, like, smiling a few it. days ago. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. Ah, <laughs> Walk is still praying. Let's get that safe point, you guys. Look, you guys. Oops. It's Lord Braska. Is that Lord Meehan? That's Lord Meehan, you guys. So all these people, all these statues, these big statues of people, they're all previous summoners. The faith is below. Let's do it. They're all summoners who have fought sin before. The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. Hell yeah. You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh man. Oh sure, soon, like tomorrow soon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you guys, we got left out in the call. Alright, we gotta wait for the elevator to come back up. Where 
as you know. Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! is actually pretty complicated and it, it might take me a moment to remember how to precisely do this one all right here we go all right so we got a door we have a kilka sphere there clicking let's go ahead and grab ourselves kilka sphere let's put this bad boy into the door it roasts the door can we push this no pushing. Take it out of the door so that we can walk through. And we'll take it with us. Put it in here, see if something happens. Build a glyph. Oops. Take the Kilika Sphere again. Try it over here. Okay. See if we can touch this glyph. Perfect. And grab this uh, glyph sphere. Nope, 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 nope. I might do this relatively silently, and if there's anybody watching this that's trying to uh, unlock this place, oh shit, didn't mean to do that. This is basically how you do it if you don't have like a strategy guide or you don't remember the exact way through. So we're going to take this glyph sphere, let's go look in this room, see what's in here. We can't go further down there. Okay, I see where we need to put uh, the pedestal, and we have a Kilika Sphere there. Wait a minute. stops half of the fire. I got you. Hmm. You know what? Let's put this back where it was. into the next room, because I, I know this is where it needs to go, so... 
Keep pushing. I want to put the glyph sphere in this hole, just to see what happens. Wait until later on in the game, you guys. These the last puzzle for uh, Bahamut. Holy crap, yeah. <laughs> it's like madness inducing. Yeah, perfect. Very nice. Since we got a uh, destruction sphere. Let's go put that back for now. <laughs> mm. Need to put that in there to roast the door. Anything over here? I need to test the uh, destruction sphere on these, uh, on these here. Alright. It's a lot of back and forth, eh? Well, I mean, if you knew exactly what to do, it wouldn't take as long. It's just a matter of putting, oops, it is. Just a matter of putting them all in the right spot. The destruction sphere is the most important one, though, because that's the one that'll open up the, uh, the pathway to, like, special items. Items of speciality. Uh, okay. Let's just leave this in here for now. And because you can only carry one sphere at a time, it does, uh, kind of add a bit of, um, complication. I'm pretty sure I have to put the destruction sphere in the pedestal and then push it. But I want to try... Oh, no, it's not going to do anything if I put it there. Okay. Is there not something over here now? Well, let's try what I... I think I have to put the destruction sphere in the pedestal. Let's go ahead and drop that back in there. Ugh. Or it's... this. I remember this, like, makes a path go down or something, like a little elevator, basically. Yes, and that's where we put our destruction sphere. Can you give me? Go ahead and just put put the Kilika sphere anywhere, really. Back and get the destruction. I love these little puzzles, man. I grew up on games like this, you know what I mean? Not specifically like this era of gaming. But, like the era of gaming when it was all about like solving little puzzles and shit like that. The red armlet, you guys, and that is for my boy Kimari. Fire ward, ice ward, lightning ward, you guys. Triple elemental protection. Now that's not triple elemental immunity, uh, it, it's just going to take off 25% of damage from those three elements. Now, we obviously need to be able to walk through this door, <laughs> so we gotta take the Kilika Sphere back. Just go ahead and drop it off, uh, 
in any empty slot because we are done. I remember the first time I played this game, I was stuck in that cloister for a very long time. Not because I couldn't find my way through, simply because I wanted to figure out the destruction sphere situation. I had to reload my game like three or four times. <laughs> it was a bit of a nightmare, to be fair. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It was Donna and that big muscle head man. <laughs> Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Oh, shit. Well, now we're in here. So what's in there, anyway? The faith, remember? Oh, yeah. That thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls. <coughs> Women were given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. Hmm. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? Like Gato, you guys. So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Good old Kimari. So you just talk to everybody. <clears throat> and then you try to make make way for the front door. Something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. Mm. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. Damn, I tried man. to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Mm. Shit, eh? New summon acquired. Hell yeah, you guys. Oh. Now, I said I already knew what the first and uh, second ones were going to be called. And I know what I'm going to name Shiva as well. So some of these are technically already taken, but... There you go. Oh, hell yeah, you guys. MVP cost, you guys. Let's... Go. XX MVP cost XX. There you go, brother. You are forever enshrined. such a change, you know, he's used to being like, you know, the star player of the team, he's used to being the center of attention, but now Yuna is. So he's kind of seeing himself on the outside a little bit. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Yeah, he wants to go home. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger. I was just about ready to burst. Shit, man, I'd want to go home too, you know? Are, are you okay? I... I don't know. Hmm. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why not? Oh uh, yeah, you guys, let's go. We're gonna go back through the uh, back through the woods to get back to um, the town of Killica. Just want to go home. Look at our new sword, you guys. Look in uh, Tidus's hands. Oof, that's a minty sword. I will swap. Swap. Uh, oh, did we? Damn, we didn't use Yuna's turn. All right. <laughs> Lulu. Say good night. Some of the sword designs in this game are absolutely amazing, like for Auron as well, when we get Auron later on. And in the next fight I'll show you guys our new summon. We'll use our turns first. Now we're just gonna block, 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 block. This is our new summon, you guys. Cost. So now we got a dragon, <laughs> we got a dragon, and we got a crazy ass beast of the underworld. <laughs> God, I fucking love this game, yo. This game is so goddamn good. Oh. And yes, if you're wondering, we can call upon them, we can call upon him just like the, uh, like, dragonfly, big giant dragonfly thing that we have. Gata. We can call upon him at any time. A summoner named Donna passed through here a while ago. She'll probably be taking the ferry. Huh, <laughs> great. That's what we're taking. To get to Luca. Oh yeah, we've already uh, talked to these people. We're just gonna visit each spot. Just make sure that there's nothing new to do. Oh. The seashore looks beautiful from here. But sin's lurking out there. Somewhere. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Yeah, at least you know when he's coming though, because he's literally the size of a friggin' planet. There's not a smile in all of Kilika thanks to Sin. But if we win the next tournament, that should cheer everyone up. Some people have different things to say. Uh, we don't really need to spend the night or anything. Speak to me. Okay. We're all saying the same things. Oh wait. Forgot about the upstairs. Oh yeah, we're not allowed up there. I believe you can go up there later on in the game, though. Like, at the end of the game. When you get the airship, I believe you can come back here. And no, I'm not spoiling anything for anybody by saying, uh, by saying, like, oh, you know, when we get the airship, every single Final Fantasy has an airship in it. <laughs> okay? Like, legit. There's always an airship at the, close to the end of the game to allow you to travel uh, or traverse the uh, world uh, as you see fit. 
to allow you to go and do things. Basically, do, do whatever you want at the end of uh, every Final Fantasy. Okay, at least people are freaking out. Thanks for saving me. Our house fell down, but my big sister's here, so I'm real happy. Yeah, it's a little girl that we saved when the building was collapsing. <laughs> They're still fixing the damn dock. Can we talk to these guys? No. Check the shop. Diddy shop. See if there's anything new. I don't think she has anything new. No. no, no. Don't need uh, that. Ice strike sensor. Don't need that. Don't want that. Decent amount of guilt. Alright. Can we have again? Oh, okay, we have three of them. I just wanted to check and see how many uh, Albert primers we have. See if we can do any level ups. No. 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 Yes. So he can actually still move up one space <laughs> and grab this uh, accuracy by two. But we cannot uh, go past uh, Provoke there. And she can't move either. Oh, we need ability spheres, you guys. <laughs> Look really bad. We're off to Luca as soon as I finish this off. As one of the uh, Blitzball players from the Killica Beasts. Alright, so yeah, not yet. Because yeah, we're at 27 minutes. <laughs> so I'll say thank you guys, as I always do, for coming out and watching this episode of Final Fantasy X. You want to be the coolest motherfucker on the goddamn planet? Hit the subscribe button and all that other cool stuff. Man, I freaking love you guys. And I wish you guys a total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So have a good one. Bye, bye.